How's it going, Justin? Good, good to, good see, to you. see you. Yeah. yeah, thanks for having all this set up, Justin. Really, really stoked. As you know, we're sort of going to try and get some beautiful ethereal sort of portraits. I want to shoot with the really high resolution GFX in the, in the Aquatech housing and just sort of produce some of the highest quality still images I can. Let's make some poetry out of this, you know, it should be fun. What I do back at home, I put in a black background and this is, this is a perfect setup. We can have on the deep edge, we'll, we'll put in a black cloth. Uh, we might have to scrim off some light if it's a bit harsh, the light, and then we'll have some continuous light underwater. If there's too much light, the, the lighting, the continuous light gets overpowered by the daylight. So we'll probably wait till it sort of mellows out a little bit, the light. This is the GFX uh, 100S that I'm gonna be shooting with. The reason I'm very keen to use this camera is because it's super high resolution camera that's really quite portable. And uh, now, now Aquatech have a housing that suits this. So it's trying to achieve the highest possible uh, resolution and image quality. It sort of goes to the next level now. So pretty excited to see what we can get out of this. Over the last few years I've been exploring, particularly my work, I like to do anything to do with water and taking that experience from surf photography into different realms of like fine art photography and in particular fashion and portraiture underwater and trying to recreate a studio quality of lighting underwater is one of my ambitions. Everything underwater happens quite differently and it's, it's a, a great way to get these responses that wouldn't happen on land and also you add into these the dynamic of potential reflections in the ceiling of the water gives this sort of whole new realm of emotional sort of it's quite evocative in its uh, look and feel and the combination of having a water housing combined with the quality of that camera is, it really opens up sort of new grounds for fine art prints that could be huge sizes so really attractive Quite an advantage to have this back that sort of comes off, uh, makes it easier to access the whole housing itself. Generally, before I go in the water, I like to sort of just gently feel with a, a wet finger if I've got any dust or any sand or anything like that. Run it around, just make sure there's no sa sand's like your worst enemy. I'm trying to avoid any moisture in whatsoever. Even, even a droplet can cause fogging. It mightn't sort of damage the camera, but can sort of ruin the shoot a little bit. And set them back out so when I put the camera in the housing, it's got a room to move and then I adjust it once the camera's in there. I'm just gonna go over here and sit down and I'll, I'll uh, put the camera into the housing. Uh, I like to be comfortable. It's nice if I'm sitting sometimes to put the camera between my legs, I can sort of get a better position without touching the port. Turn the camera on, check all the functions. Here I'm connecting the firing cable. You just line it up with these little railings on the bottom, which ensures it to be a perfect sitting location within the housing. Drop that back on, slide it right through, make sure there's no cables crossing over. So you really only got to work off the top clips. And then, and then check. Beautiful, ready to go. Let's rock and roll. Leah, the model, she's very experienced in the water, so this will be really good. We're gonna shoot manual exposure where I'm actually moving the flashes close and to the proximity of the model just to get the balance right. I'll be able to vary the aperture from the back dial and hopefully I can put a diffuser in between to make it much more beautiful lighting. You, you are under with the flash. Okay. So as long as you're about there, and you're, you're going to be the sort of main oh, yeah. main fill light, which okay. will be sort of like three quarters, okay. yeah. But let me go under first, because as you sink in, sometimes there's really beautiful coming in and out and things like that. All right, everybody. I'm just going to gently sink under. I'll make sure if I get my leads in front of me, just you tell me. The advent of the new Fuji camera, the GFX 100S, uh, it's sort of bringing a whole lot of things to the table for a whole a lot of people that might not have had access before. It's bringing a new level of quality in its uh, resolution of 100 megapixels. Quality for dollar, I think it represents one of the best camera systems out there at the moment. 
the combination of the Aquatec housing that's designed specifically for the Fuji GFX100S, it really opens up new potential in this image making of uh, unrivaled proportions. I think it's, it's potential for fine art, large images is, is unparalleled. Uh, I'm going to use a continuous light now uh, to fill in the shadows underwater. Let's go ahead and see how we go with this one. The thing that I'm trying to get, not deep, but just below the surface, you get this double image, this mirror-like image, and that's where all the magic starts to happen. Uh, it's like this wild card of, of a third dimension that happens. It gets really, really quite special. It's a wrap. Ha, ha, ha.